How's it going, everybody? David here with SolarPowerMyRV.com, and today I just want to do a quick video on the new Victron user interface for the Servo uh, Touch 50 or Touch 70 system. Um, this is the new interface here, how this, how the new system looks, and I just want to show you guys how to get to it, how to upgrade it, and how it's going to work. So the first thing you have to do is upgrade the firmware on the Servo. So you're going to go to the settings, go to firmware, and make sure you're connected to the internet. You're going to want to go to 3.51. But to check for updates, go here and hit check for updates. Uh, if there's an update, you're going to see it here and you can click it and uh, it'll automatically update once you click it. Um, mine's already updated to the latest one. So once it's uh, updated the firmware, you go back to the main screen here. And then we'll go back to the menu and we'll hit settings. And then you're going to scroll down to display and language. And from here, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to, to user interface. And it'll say classic UI. And you're going to click this and click new UI. Hit the check mark. And it'll automatically switch to the new user interface. And then it'll restart and then it'll start loading and give it a second here and here we go this is what the new uh, user interface will look like and it should look pretty much the same on yours so looking at the main screen here on the new user interface I'm going to do a quick overview of what everything means and some of the basic settings that uh, most people are going to use so if you look at the screen, each box is going to represent a different part of your system. So this is your shore power or your generator power. Um, we're plugged in now, so you can see that. And then um, you can see our inverter, our battery, our AC loads, our DC loads, and then our solar and the alternator here to the left. So if we click on our top left corner, this is how you're going to turn the inverter on and off and set your shore power current limit. So here you can turn your inverter on and off. Uh, there's four different modes, but for the most part, it's gonna be on or off. And this is how you set your shore power current limit or when you're running a generator, you'll set that here. And that's the two main things you have to do to the system. The rest of it's just monitoring. But if you click here, you can see this is another way to get to uh, turn the inverter on and off. You can do it from here. You can also set your current limit from here as well. And this is just telling you a few different things about the inverter, what it's doing, it's, it's charging. This is the battery voltage, so you know we're getting battery power to it. Um, yeah, that's the main things you wanna look at there. So if you click the inverter charger itself, uh, you can also turn it on and off from here and set the current limit. So there's three different ways of getting to it. Um, this is more just telling you some more information that much of power and this is back to the main screen so we're going to click on solar yield uh, this is how you can check your solar we got roof solar and then we got our ground solar right here so you can see our roof solar is putting out 40 watts and our ground solar is putting out 25 watts so uh, that's a quick way to check our stats on that and that's in, you'll see the combined total here on the solar yield and then we got our alternator going here so you can see our alternator information you can see you can turn it on and off with the switch here um you can do you can see the input and the output so you can see inputs getting 14 2 outputs going out and it'll also tell you some history of the dc to dc charger if you want to really get into it so yeah that's your dc to dc and you can see it's uh, kind of charging the battery right now so right here this is your battery stats you can see our voltage of your battery and power going in or out. You can see our state of charge, how many amp hours we consumed, and your history, and a bunch of other things on the battery side. But uh, the main thing you're going to be looking at on the battery is your state of charge. And if uh, this number here is watts and your amps, if it's a positive number, that means you're charging. And if it's a negative number, that means you're using power. So like right now, we have you know some AC loads, uh, I think it's the fridge on and some lights, and then we don't have a lot of s solar coming in, but we've got the inverter on, so it's just charging and we're full. So if you want to turn the screen on and off, you just hit top right corner here, a little 
moon button there and it turns the screen on and off if you don't want it on all the time so a few other things this is a, a brief this is kind of the same thing as the other screen just kind of like a brief version of it uh if you, if you really know what these means it, it is telling you the same thing as the other screen just a short version um i think it's cool but i think the other one's a little bit easier to most people to understand so a few different settings you're going to look at here or you might want to change uh first thing if you go to the menu you can do your any kind of firmware updates here uh, this is how you check for firmware updates and maybe do that every few months or so um to keep your inverter up to date and then here you can go to display and language you can adjust the brightness on the screen you can adjust the time it turns off uh, whenever you stop using it um, there's different display modes here so we're on dark mode but there's a light mode so if this looks better to you you can change it here um, there's the languages here um, units you can change it to fahrenheit here celsius uh, those are the main things there and then uh let's see we'll scroll down here and another thing is the wi-fi this is how you're going to connect to the starlink or your internet either your phone your wi-fi you click whatever your uh internet is and you'll actually have a password you hit the password and then you'll see your ip address pop up and we know you're connected and you see it's checked off and then that's how you connect to your Starlink or your internet so you can access uh, your information online. And we can actually see it too online if you connect. So also is a, this is a generator start-stop feature. So if you have an auto-gen start, this is where it would be. This one doesn't have it. Um, yeah, and then here's back to the main overview screen. So here's a quick demonstration on um, us being unplugged. This is just running straight on... Uh, solar power so we unplug from shore power we got the alternator engine turned off and we're just running on solar power and our uh, inverter is inverting so that means we're just running on batteries and then we got the fridge and some lights on and you can see uh our solar is not totally keeping up because it's a negative number down here and what's cool about this is you can see on the battery it says discharging and it says nine days and 23 hours so when you're on battery power it'll tell you how much Time you got left remaining just on battery at this rate so one of the cool features about these victron systems is the uh, assist feature which means you can run battery power and shore power at the same time um, so what you do you set your shore current limit here on the inverter and this is gonna tell it how much uh, either generator power you have or how much uh, outlet power you have so like that's we're at a 15 amp outlet so we set it to uh, lower than that and um so we kick the air conditioner on here and once the ac kicks on you'll see the inverter charger instead of absorption charging it'll say assisting so once the ac kicks on um it'll be using basically the battery power and the solar power and the shore power all at the same time so this gives you the ability to run a few more items when you're plugged in let's say to a friend's house garage outlet so you see how the inverter says assisting the air conditioner kicked on the air conditioner is pulling 1800 watts the shore power is only getting a thousand because we set it down pretty low so we set it down to nine amps so it's only going to be pulling nine amps from the the outlet out that we're plugged into and everything above that is just getting pulled from the battery here. You can see we're pulling some wattage from the battery since it's negative. Some's from a solar alternator. So it's all kind of combining here to, um, to power your AC loads. So yeah, that's one great feature to have. So yeah, there's a quick overview of the new Victron user interface system. Uh, I think this is a great upgrade. Uh, it's uh, nice and it's nice that they put the alternator charging here and they put your solar here and it, it's real easy to navigate i think it's easier than the last version so i think it's a great upgrade but um the most important thing i think that a lot of people is going to like is right here where it says discharging it actually gives you a time remaining like days or hours how much time you have left running on battery power and running the items that you're running 
And that's the most important number that most people want to know is how much time do I have left on battery power? And uh, there it is. Hope this helps.